Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can plot a horizontal stacked bar using Python. So let's start. First of all, I will show you an Excel file. Here you can see that the Excel file na is named as book1.xlsx. There are five columns here. There are some random values here. And here you can see the column headings name and the sheet name is sheet one i have used jupyter notebook here for coding purpose i have already written the code here i will just demonstrate the code first of all we have to import the necessary modules so i have written import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import numpy as np and import pandas as pd then i have taken a variable which is named as df underscore one you can take any variable name valid variable name here then i have written pd dot read excel and in the inverted comma i have written the location of my excel file and then here i have written the sheet name which is sheet one then if i write print df underscore one here you can see that our Excel file values have been imported. Now I will take some variables. First of all, I will take a variable which is named as ER. You can take any valid variable name here. Then I have written list df underscore one dot yeAR. This variable name should be just like this column heading name otherwise it will show error and if i write print here what it will do it will convert these values this year values in a list format where which is shown here then i have written water body is equal to list df underscore one dot water body is reverse which is this sorry this one and if you write print water bodies here you can see that water bodies reverse column values have been listed here you have to write the same name as it was in the column heading here then take visitations equal to list df underscore one dot visitations then write print visitations and it will it will show like this then write settlements equal to list df underscore one dot settlements built ups and write print settlements it is shown here now i have taken a variable which is named as sp then i have written equal to list np dot add water bodies comma visitations and if you write print sp you will show this list here i will demonstrate why i have written uh, just like this and have added these two water bodies and visitations then write sandbars equal to list df underscore one dot sandbar roads which is this one and if you write print sandbars you will show the you will see the list here and i have taken another variable which is named as sand bar height and i have written list np dot add settlements comma sp which were which was basically this one sp and settlements and if you write print sand bar height you will see this list here okay now i have taken another four variable which is named as p1 p2 p3 p4 and i have written the necessary course here our final output will be just like this one i will demonstrate it so if i take p1 variable and write plt dot bar h this bar h basically represents the horizontal stacked bar you have to write plt dot bar h here for horizontal stacked bar then i have written er which is this variable name comma water bodies which is 
the variable here and er will be in the y axis and your water bodies which is this red color portion in the x axis so i have written er comma water bodies height equal to 2.8 it is basically this height suppose i have uh think i have changed a as 2.8 and if you run the program you can see the height is increased so i will keep it as it was so write 2.8 and run the program then i have written level equal to water bodies and rivers which is shown in the legend portion here water bodies and rivers and i have give color equal to r so here you can see that this bar is in red color then i have taken another variable which is p2 equal to then i have written plt dot bar h and now it will be r comma vegetations we have plotted the water bodies previously now it is time for vegetations so i have written here comma vegetations you have to give the same variable name here just like you have taken here then height equal to 2.8 i have already uh, told what it is then left equal to water bodies what it is meant here if we look here, if we look here, suppose I have written left equal to water bodies. What it will do, it will just start the plotting of your vegetation horizontal bar from here, isn't it? Because it is in the first left portion here. So you have to write left equal to water bodies, which was basically this uh, variable so if you write left equal to water bodies your vegetations will be plotted from this line to here okay now if you write height equal to uh, sorry if you write label equal to vegetations then it will be shown in the legend portion and you can give any color code here you can get the color codes from the website then i have taken p3 equal to plt dot bar h er comma settlements which is this one settlements okay then i have given height equal to 2.8 left equal to sp what it will do so i have written a line previously here which is sp equal to list np dot add water bodies comma vegetations basically i am using the pandas module here for the adding of water bodies and vegetations so what was our first water bodies value it was 24.7 and what was our uh, value of vegetations it was 43.2 so if you write water bodies comma vegetation it will add these two portion so what it will do it will add 24.7 plus 43.2 equal to 67.9 and it is stored in this variable which is sp and here you can see 67.9 then what is for 65.7 if you look here it is 16.2 and 49.5 which is 65.7 and it will just um, go like this for the other portions here okay so it is in this sp portion which is this one the list is uh, shown here so why I have written left equal to SP? If you carefully look here, you will see that your settlements and built ups will start from this one. So what it is actually? It is actually the addition of your water bodies and river rivers and then vegetation. So it was 24.7 and 43.2 which is 67.9 so your 
settlements and built ups will start from this line to this portion so you have to write left equal to sp so that's why it will it will start from this portion okay here i have marked here in the orange color so if i give it this orange color portion is 67.9 and your settlements and build ups will start from the mark of 67.9 this portion okay and it will be plotted to this section okay now give a level which is settlements and builds and um, build ups and give a color then i have written p4 equal to plt dot bar h year comma sandbars height equal to 2.8 then i have written left equal to sandbar height if you look here your sandbar height is uh, written as list np dot add settlements comma sp what it is meant here if you look here our sp value first sp value was 67.9 and your uh, if we look here your sp value was 67.9 and your first settlement value is 4.3 so if you add this 67.9 plus 4.3 is it will be equal to 72.2 and it is stored in sandbar height so if you write left equal to sandbar height what it will do it will start your plot of sandbars and roads this sandbars and roads from this portion to this one why because if you look here this is this is 72.2 so we are trying to plot just uh, after one another so you have to write left equal to sandbar height and your this portion will start from this line 7 which is 72.2 and it will be plotted in this box and it will just go like this one okay i have also marked it if you look here i have also marked it in black color here you can see this portion was 72.2 72.2 and your sandbars and roads will start from this okay now i have written label equal to sandbars and roads which is shown here and you can give a color code here or any color name so i have given this one then i have written plt dot x level percentage you can see this one here then i have written plt dot y level which is here and it is shown here then i have given a title which is horizontal stacked bar plot which is uh, sorry which is shown here then i have written plt dot bar underscore level p1 which was this variable comma label type equal to center font size equal to 8 what it will do it will just plot your values in the middle portion so our first value was uh, if you look here was 24.7 so it is plotted here you can see it is plotted in the center portion which is 24.7 and the font size is equal to 8 then the others are plotted in the center portion as well 16.2 15.2 17.9 21.7 now i will write plt dot bar underscore level p2 which was for hesitations and it is written level underscore type equal to center and the font size is 8 so here you can see the values are here 43.2 49.5 50.5 and 43 and the rest portion are for p3 and p4 which is also shown here now 
I have written plt.ytx here. What it will do? It will uh, give the tick marks here. 2003, 2009, 2015, 2021, and 2027. Then it is written plt.xlim 0, 100. Basically, it is the range of your x-axis, which is uh, from 0 to 100. Here you can see. Then I have written plt.legend location equal to 0 0.04 comma minus 0 0.3 comma in pool equal to 2. So you have given the label names here. If you want to show it in your graph, you have to write plt.legend. Here you can see that uh, we have, uh, we are seeing the legend portion here, which is water bodies and rivers, vegetations, settlements and built ups, sandbars and roads. And the look, you can change the location here for uh, the better position. Suppose in, I am giving 0 0.04, not 0 0.04, 0 0.09 and minus 0 0.3, not minus 0 0.3, I am giving 0. Minus 0 0.7. And if you run the program, you can see the legend uh, box is in another portion and it is written n calls equal to 2. And it is shown in the two columns here. Okay. You can just change the values here and see what happens. I will keep as it was. Then I have written plt.save figure plot.png you can give uh, any name you want then i have written b box underscore inches equal to tight so this uh, png file will be saved in the same location where your jupyter notebook is and finally i have written plt.show and if we look at our final plot here you can see it is our final plot if we double click here and this is the final graph i think you all can understand what has happened that's it thank you everyone see you in next tutorial